Hello, I'm making a video today on how to compress an image using Tiny PNG. So, um, a quick look at the database. We've got a photos collection with an image property and a text field called compressed URL. What we're going to do, we're going to have a form where you can upload your photo. Um, so it's going to create a new photo and it's just the um, image field. Um, and then when we press the submit button, uh, we're going to go to this um, other screen here. And on that screen, I want it to display the new compressed image so we can see that it worked. Um, I'll fill that in later. Um, so we're using uh, this tiny png.com and this is their API reference. Um, so we're going to use a custom action and let's get started on that. Um, so on the submit button we're going to have, we're going to create a photo and then custom action, new custom action um, compress image uh, type will be create method will be post. From the API reference here um, we need the base URL um, so let me uh, see which one we need. Here we go, the shrink. Um, so that's going to be our base URL. We're going to need authentication so for the header we put authorization um, and this one is basic authorization. Now on Tiny PNG, you can press login, follow the steps, and you're going to get to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you're going to have your API. Um, here we go. So I'm going to copy my API. And um, the next step is we can't just use that um, API straight away, that key. We need to um, encode it into base64 format. So you can um, go to this website, base64encode.org, paste in your API key and press encode. Um, then what comes out here is what we'll put on the custom action. So authorization, basic, and then paste that base64 encoded um, API key. And that is our authorization. Um, I think for content type header, you would put application JSON, but we, I don't think we need it, so I'm skipping it. Um, back to the documentation here. Um, we're going to upload from a URL. Um, and it's a really simple bit of code here that we need. There we go, copy and paste. Okay, I'm going to borrow that for our input over here. So we're going to have a text input, which will be the image URL. And we need an example value, so just put in um, a direct link to an image file there so we can test the API. Um, and then in our JSON body, we will, of course, be using the magic text uh, for that image URL. There we go. Um, and I think we can run our test now. That should be okay. So run the test. And it's successful. You can see the outputs that we've got here. This is what um, the API is responding to us. And the thing we need is the output URL. That is a link to our new compressed um, image. Okay, done. Save custom action. And the last thing we need to do, um, the image URL that goes into our custom action will be the new photo image URL. And then we're going to go to the next page and display the image. So we put URL and then photo, um, where are we? Uh, give me a sec screen. Ah, okay, before we do that, we just need to update the new photo with the output from that custom action. 
So the compress URL is going to be the compress image. This is our action and we can use the output now, the output URL. Okay, done. And then on the next screen, we can have the, um, one second, it's not linking the data. I'm not sure why, create photo, update photo, link. Okay, so the, the data is not linking. Let me just, maybe because it's a welcome screen. So let me just make sure the home screen is also the welcome screen. And there we go. Um, yeah, um, the reason for that, if this was the welcome screen, it wouldn't always have that data available. So I've switched that and now, um, as we expect, we can use the current photo data. So we're going to put our compressed URL. Um, and let's give this a test. Right, so we're going to choose a photo. Um, we're going to create uh, the photo. It should um, do our custom action, compress it, and then display it. And here we go. This is the compressed URL. Um, that's all then. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed.